Police claim Macau led the group of border border riders to the station before they attacked and burnt down the structure that was acting as holding cells. It was the AP camp where lawyer Willie Kimani, his client Joseph Mwenda, and taxi driver Joseph Mwiruri were held before their abduction and later murdered. Police want to question Macau over the arson incident. As the police mounted a search for the MP, Safaricom issued a statement saying it had not refused to attend to a request to provide phone records in the case involving the three officers. Part of the statement read, and I quote, Safaricom received a request from the National Police Service on 28th June 2016 to provide call records and SMS data for the three parties. This data was provided to the National Police Service the following day on 29th June 2016. The statement further states, and I quote, the Directorate of Criminal Investigations confirmed receipt of this data in the court, stating that Safaricom had fully complied with the court order and given them what they needed. On 30th June 2016, we received a habeas corpus application by the Law Society of Kenya and duly appeared in court on 1st July 2016 as directed. Meanwhile, Sukimao residents gathered near the site of the burnt AP camp holding cells. Sukimao residents have distanced themselves from chaos that erupted yesterday, saying what they did was just to hold a peaceful demonstration and accusing a few border border operators whom they say are not from this particular area for touching down this holding facility belonging to the administration police camp. Even by banning this police post, they've done nothing because we are still going to rebuild it. And that is why we are having this meeting to just strategize on ways of bringing it back again. They said the arson attack was ill-motivated, claiming that the senior sergeant Frederick Liliman, Corporal Stephen Chebulet and Constable Sylvia Wanjiko were officers known to them and that their involvement in the murder case would not have prompted residents to destroy property at the station. Proper motive why an area that had been demarcated as a crime scene uh, to be ra uh, raised down uh, with fire, that as residents we can only perhaps suspect it was to destroy the, 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 the evidence. They say they are working together to rebuild the structure for the sake of their security. Kevin Mutai, NTV.